address another issue. I know it's two days in a row, but there were more allegations made yesterday. We didn't have time to review the video in time to present it to you. Again, there was an article published and allegations made that uh, the police mistreated a prisoner in one of the uh, Kahuku arrestees for the uh, turbine case. The male was arrested at the Kalai Villa site on the morning of October 24th and made allegations that his fingers were twisted and that uh, he complied with every uh, uh, order by the police department. Again, the video, I'll show you guys. And I'll, what I'll do first is I'll stop where there are different things. Uh, that's Mr. Fonoy Moana. Uh, and again, uh, we're not criticizing or calling, his, calling him a liar. I just want to present to you video evidence that shows otherwise. And at the police, there was no misconduct on the part of the police. Here the officers are approaching him after he's being warned to move from the uh, front of the gate. He's being told that he's going to be arrested. He says he complied and put his hands behind his back before the officers even said to him. And as you can see, it's not necessarily true. Take notice that the officers are trained to sort of do a handshake and place the uh, cuffs over the wrist to secure the prisoner, the arrestee. If you notice, he's putting his thumb up to prevent the, cuff, the flex cuffs from going, making contact and going over the wrist. He does this several times before they change and go to a larger uh, flex cuff size. So they're going to cut their original flex cuff off and put on a larger size cuff. All it is is three flex cuffs together instead of two. At one point soon, he's going to jerk his right hand away from the officers as well. Again, you see the officer how he grabs the hand in a handshake to get the cuffs over. conversation talking about the handcuffing um, and the way the officers are, are reacting to it. They don't know what they're doing and that he's been arrested before, so he's got experience. He says he stood up while the uh, officers were arresting him and he was compliant and was not carried. He's going to be carried away at his request in a minute. Other than the handshake where they, the officers apply the cuffs, uh, nobody has twisted or turned his fingers and he has not complained of any pain or injury. Questions for the booking. That's the only redaction we made to this video. We're going to 
block out personal Emerson information Mary. which we have to do. That's the redacted part of question, personal questions. He's talking about Officer Atkins doing a bad job of handcuffing him.
it'll show a log of when it was tested and when it was used. So we have, there's a double uh, sort of standard in there so that we can see how it was used, when it was used. So you said that it, everything gets recorded or logged, so how does that happen? Is it automatic? There's some sort of link? between each taser? We're going to go to newer technology soon. We're going to switch where I the mean, cameras and the, the tasers link. But in the <coughs> meantime, the camera is on the taser itself. The so the, on the taser. it's contained within the taser system. But there's no central, is there a central location that is Not for the tasers, reports? no. It's contained within the ta uh, taser unit. So there's no, so no unlike the body you, cameras. Unless you actually check with if that. you're going to the, if you're going where I think you're going, the only taser that was in the proximity of um, uh, Mr. Morales yesterday, we pulled it and it was not used. There is no video and there's no uh, log of it having been used. So okay. no. So that's that's how you're saying it gets recorded. You check the individual tasers. Yes. Okay. And we have procedures and policies for that as well. Acting chief, care to comment on uh, his comments about? Bad handcuffing skills. Yes. Yes. Care to comment on that? Um, I don't know. The handcuffing skills look fine to me, except for the little resistance that he put up. They look pretty good. Like I said, the officers are trained to do a handshake, where they slip the cuff over and then uh, tie it up. So it looks pretty good, other than you know him sticking his hand out to try to keep prevent the officer from putting the uh, flex cuff in. And he, when he finally did, it looked right. He didn't look like he was in any distress. They didn't look like they were causing any injury. Uh, he tries to pull his right arm away at one point. He could have injured himself by doing that with a uh, cuff being half put on as it was. So why then are these allegations and claims coming out? Does Kara speculate? I have no idea. You'd have to talk to the protesters. They're the ones that have come out. And not all protesters. We've gotten two out of 111 arrests. Uh, that's a pretty good uh, rating. And as you can see, neither one of the two we see any uh, mistreatment of the prisoners or any harm done to them. We've been pretty good. Even the protesters have commented about that. And overall, the protests have been pretty good. Um, I wouldn't call it peaceful, maybe passive resistant, but not necessarily peaceful. And in the last couple of nights, it got that even better. Remember again, they have a right to protest, and we uphold that right. We're there for law and order, public safety, because there's big trucks moving in small areas. There's people walking all over the place. It's dark. Uh, we're just trying to control the people there to make sure everybody's safe. Are, are you going to reduce the numbers of your... I wouldn't discuss tactics or any of our plans. How about I, cost? Um, we haven't calculated the cost yet. That's going to come out later. Okay. I just want to double check. Last night, no arrest, correct? No arrest at all last night. Good night. Thank as you very well much. As well as this morning, right? This night and this morning, yes. Thanks. Thank you.